Hello, today we're going to talk about how to run classification on Android using the experimental GPU delegate for TensorFlow Lite. This is really exciting. So the first thing we need to do is run git clone. We're going to clone the normal TensorFlow repository. Once this is done, we'll have the full repository, but we're only going to need to use the demo directory. So we run Android Studio. What's really important here is that we navigate to the correct directory. In this case, we're going to open TensorFlow slash Lite slash Java slash demo. Once this loads, we can start modifying our project to use the new AAR. We've created a pre-built GPU AAR that you can switch to. By default, the demo app uses the nightly AAR. So here I'm using Maven Local, but you can probably just use JCenter. We're going to comment out the existing reference to the AAR. That's the nightly. And we're going to add two more lines. We're going to comment what we're doing. We're adding the GPU to the comment. And then we just need to switch it to GPU-experimental and uncomment it. Now we're ready to actually build. There we go. Now I'm going to speed up this video a little bit so it takes not too much time. Once it's done, we can actually start trying to think about how we're going to test it. In this case, I've plugged in a Pixel XL, so I'm going to do Run. Hopefully ADB will find it, and it has. So hit OK. Now it's going to do a little bit more building, and then it's going to load the APK on the device. All right, it's successfully built. Now it's installing the APK. Okay, we go over to the device. It's gonna run the app automatically. It's gonna ask for permission to use the camera if we've never installed this app before. We're going to allow it. Now to use the GPU, we need to switch to the float model and then we need to click GPU. And if you look, uh, the inference time is gonna actually go down from about 80 to about 40. And that's all there is to it. We hope you enjoy the GPU delegate.